in blue, we see the outline of the 1997 mud flow, and it is very small compared to those legacy ones. And given the fact <clears throat> that the center of activity or emission of mud does not change very much over time, it means that in the past, some of these eruptions would have been extremely large. What we have here is a 2019 vintage Google Earth image of the Peparo area with the outline of the legacy mud flows and the 1997 mud flows superimposed on this photograph. What we clearly see here is these legacy mud flows cover almost all of the village of Peparo. Using data compiled by French researchers Deville and Journey that was published in 2009, the average time between eruptions was calculated. Prior to 1953, there were no recorded historical eruptions in the Peparo area. So the first eruption was in 1953 followed by the second in 1968, a 15-year difference. One year later, there was another eruption in 1969. The last eruption happened on the 22nd of February 1997, 28 years after the 1969 eruption. This gives an average of 14.7 years between eruptions. If we eliminate the 1969 eruption, the time between eruptions is 21.5 years. When historical eruptions for seven mud volcanoes are plotted over time, what we tend to see is that there appears to be some grouping of eruptions where once one mud volcano erupts, the others tend to erupt within a few years. So in 2018, Devils Woody had erupted. In 2019, Tabakit erupted. And statistically, Peparo should erupt. However, current activity is done where the cone is actually deflating. What that means is that the cone is subsiding and the likelihood of an eruption now is low.